Here we're given a difference equation and we're asked for the transfer function. Now remember the transfer function is the ratio of the output in the z-domain to the input in the z-domain. So clearly we need somehow to find an expression in z, so we need to take the z-transform. So what we do in instances like this is take the z-transform of each of these four terms. So the z-transform of y of n is simply y of z. The z-transform of x of n is x of z. And then y of z again. But because we have this delay of one sample, that's equivalent to multiplying by z to the power minus 1. And here we have a delay of two samples. So that's the equivalent of multiplying y of z times z to the minus 2. Now what we want is to write a ratio of y of z to x of z. So it would help if all of these y of z's were on the same side of the equation. So I will move these across. So I can say y of z common factor 1 minus z minus 1 minus z to minus 2 equals x of z. So I can now find y of z divided by x of z is 1 over 1 minus z to the minus 1 minus z to the minus 2. And that's exactly what I was after. That's my transfer function. And I can leave it at that. Or if I, if I wanted to get rid of the negative z powers, I could multiply by z squared over z squared, and that would give me z squared over z squared plus z, sorry, uh, minus z minus 1. And that's my final answer. That's the transfer function from a difference equation.